ジャパニーズポット一マル一です。おはよう東京。こんばんはニューヨーク。こんにちはロンドン。Hi everyone, welcome to Absolute Beginner Season One Lesson Fifteen: A Long Hot Japanese Summer. ジェシーです。ジェシー here。こんにちは、ナオミです。Hello everyone, ナオミ here。Thanks again for joining us for our Absolute Beginner series. In the last lesson, we reviewed a lot of phrases that we learned throughout this series. For example, ありがとうございます。Thank you. すみません。Excuse me or I'm sorry. 大丈夫ですか Are you okay? Among others, I think it was a good review. Yes, definitely. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to describe what something is like. So that means, what kind of things will we be able to say by the end of this lesson? Well, you'll be able to say things like, "This is tasty," and "Summer is hot." That's right. You'll be able to describe what something is like. So, what's happening in this conversation? Well, Taylor, Masato, and Kaori are taking a walk outside, and Masato makes a comment about the weather. Okay, so let's listen to the conversation. ああ、暑い。カリフォルニアの夏は暑いですね。日本の夏も暑いですか？はい。日本の夏は蒸し暑いです。蒸し暑い。Let's listen to the conversation again slowly. ああ、暑い。カリフォルニア。の夏は暑いですね。日本の夏も暑いですか。はい。日本の夏は蒸し暑いです。蒸し暑い。Now let's listen to it with the translation. Ah, it's so hot. California の夏は暑いですね Summer in California is really hot, isn't it? 日本の夏も暑いですか Is summer in Japan hot too? はい Yeah. 日本の夏は蒸し暑いです Summers in Japan are humid. 蒸し暑い Humid. So Naomi, I don't know if it's been mentioned before in this series, but this story actually takes place in California in the U.S. Right. Kayla lives in the United States, and Masato and Kaori are visiting him there. And as anyone who has been there knows, it gets hot in California. I'm sure. And so that's what they were talking about in this conversation. So first off, what is the word they were using? The word that means hot in Japanese. Atsui. Atsui. Yes. For example. カリフォルニアは暑いです。California is hot. We're going to focus on this type of sentence later on in the lesson, so just focus on the vocab for now. This word 暑い can be used to talk about weather as well as something hot to the touch, like if you touch something hot, 暑い And if it's super hot, we say it multiple times very quickly. 暑い暑い暑い。<laughs> very true. So 暑い when talking about the weather just means hot. We also saw a word that meant humid as well. Yes, mushi atsui, mushi atsui. The word mushi plus the word for hot atsui, mushi atsui. This describes weather that is muggy or humid, high humidity levels. Some parts of Japan get very humid in the summer. Yes, so you will hear this a lot if you visit during that time. Mushi、mm. atsui, mushi atsui. Now, Naomi. This mushi that comes before atsui means steaming, right? Right. So mushi atsui means steaming hot or humid. How about a sample sentence? Sure. Tokyo wa mushi atsui desu. Tokyo is humid. Okay. And the last word? Natsu. Natsu, which is summer. 
So you can see we have a theme going on here. Now we can make a sentence that uses two of our vocab words. 夏は暑いです。夏は暑いです。Summer is hot. Well, of course, depending on the area you live in.、Hmm. So, can we hear our new words one more time? Sure. 暑い Hot. 蒸し暑い Humid. And 夏 Summer. Now let's move on to the lesson focus. In this lesson, you'll learn how to describe what something is like. Naomi, this is actually going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Yes. Because we are using our A is B. A wa B des structure again. I know we keep bringing this up, but that's because it's so useful. So, as I'm sure you remember by now, in our A is B structure, we put what we're talking about in place of A. And in place of B, we put words to identify what A is. So, for example, Watashi wa Naomi des. I'm Naomi. これは水です。This is water, that kind of thing. Now, this time, for B, instead of putting a noun, we can put an adjective. A word that describes a noun. Right. Words like big, small, hot, cold, light, heavy. Those go in place of B. So our pattern is A は adjective です。A is adjective. Okay, let's do an easy example. Let's use the words we just learned. 夏は暑いです。Summer is hot. Let's break it down. 夏 Summer. は This is part of our pattern. 暑い Hot. This. And this is the ending of our pattern. So, one more time. 夏は暑いです。So, 暑い Hot is describing 夏 Summer. Listeners, repeat after Naomi. Summer is hot. 夏は暑いです。Okay, how about another example? Sure. 東京は蒸し暑いです。Tokyo is humid. One more time slowly. 東京は蒸し暑いです。And again at regular speed. 東京は蒸し暑いです。Great. Listeners, repeat after Naomi. Tokyo is humid. 東京は蒸し暑いです。Okay, now let's see how this pattern was used in the dialogue. In the dialogue, Masato said, カリフォルニアの夏は暑いです。Summer in California is hot. Let's break it down. カリフォルニアの夏 Literally, California's summer. In the translation, we say summer in California. は This is part of our pattern. 暑い Hot. です And this is the ending of our pattern. So, all together, one more time. カリフォルニアの夏は暑いです。Summer in California is hot. Going through this example, I realized the word California in Japanese might be the hardest one to say. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, listeners, if you can't quite wrap your tongue around it just yet. Okay, Naomi, let's have the listeners practice now. Sounds good. So we introduced the adjectives 暑い and 蒸し暑い in this lesson, right? Right. Do you remember some other adjectives we learned in earlier lessons? Ah, now that you mention it, we had sugoi,、mm. amazing, and oishi, delicious, didn't we? Yes. Let's make a sentence using oishi, meaning delicious. Okay, sounds good. So, listeners, how would you say sushi is delicious? Sushi is, of course, sushi. And delicious is oishi. So, those two just need to go into the pattern, and you get? Naomi, what's the answer? Sushi wa oishi i desu. Sushi is good, or sushi is delicious. Mmm, I could go for some sushi right about now. <laughs> Sushi wa oishi i desu ne. Ah, uh oh. You just used a new particle at the end of the sentence. Ah. Listeners, did you catch that? We had ne at the end of the sentence, and it adds the meaning of right or isn't it to the sentence. So when you want someone to agree with you, you can use this ne. Sushi wa oishi i desu ne. So this would mean something like sushi is delicious, don't you think? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for this lesson. Yep, that's all for now. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Let us know what you thought, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Until next time. See you next time. じゃあまた
。ああ、暑い。カリフォルニアの夏は暑いですね。日本の夏も暑いですかはい。日本の夏は蒸し暑いです。蒸し暑い